Hi, my name is Dr. Andy Lee, and today I'm going to tell you about giant cell arteritis. Giant cell arteritis is a very common medium to large vessel vasculitis of the elderly. It presents with symptoms of headache, scalp tenderness, jaw claudication, and the most feared complication, vision loss. The vision loss can be transient or permanent, and when it does occur, it usually is from ischemic optic neuropathy, which is usually of the anterior type, where the disc is swollen, but it can also be from the posterior type, where the disc is not swollen. Rarely, about 10% of the central retinal artery occlusions that we see are giant cell arteritis, so it's arteritic central retinal artery occlusion is 10% of the cases. However, clinicians should be worried about it in any patient who has transient vision loss, amaurosis fugax, transient diplopia, or vision loss from ischemic optopathy or central retinal artery occlusion. Earlier diagnosis and treatment make a difference, and the laboratory studies are the acute phase reactants, the sedimentation rate, the C-reactive protein, and the platelet count. In addition, the diagnosis needs to be confirmed with a temporal artery biopsy, and although ultrasound of the temporal artery is emerging as an uh, exciting technique for the diagnosis, we still usually need to have pathologic confirmation of giant cell arteritis. Normally, we don't wait on the test result to start the treatment, which is corticosteroids. Recent evidence is emerging that we can use monoclonal antibody for IL-6 blockade, interleukin-6, tocilizumab, to help us get off steroids quicker. So in summary, giant cell arteritis should be considered in every elderly patient with symptoms of headache, scalp tenderness, jaw claudication, or vision loss. Order the acute phase reactants, start steroids, and consider tocilizumab as a steroid sparing regimen.